guys we know that food is very important for us it act as a fuel and it performs a number of functions in our body for example we know that food provides us energy it keeps our body immune against a number of diseases similarly we know that it helps us in growth and development now this food it performs so many functions with the help of its basic components and these basic components which are nothing but chemical substances present in the food are what we call nutrients so we know that nutrients are the basic components of our food and there are a number of nutrients present in our food for example these are carbs or we can call them carbohydrates carbohydrates we mainly get from the cereals okay similarly we have proteins in our food these proteins are very very important for our growth and development and you mostly get them from dal chicken etc next is the fats fats also provide us energy and you can find them in items like uh, butter cheese etc next are the vitamins vitamins they help us strong they help us in defending our body do us many many diseases similarly minerals also perform the same function and these vitamins and minerals can be obtained by eating a number of vegetables and fruits so they all mostly contain a lot of vitamins and minerals in them now except for these there are two more things which are required to have a balanced diet now these are two what we call water and the last one is called roughage now what is roughage well roughage and nothing but these are those fiber like substances which are present in our food which helps us in digestion so these are the number of nutrients which we should take to have a balanced diet now what are the sources of these nutrients what are their main functions their types we are going to have a look in the upcoming lessons